This video explains how to diagnose gastric intestinal metaplasia with image-enhanced endoscopy, such as autofluorescence imaging, AFI, or narrowband imaging, NBI, with or without magnification. The techniques of magnifying observation, endoscopic findings of H. pylori negative normal gastric mucosa, and then endoscopic findings of gastric intestinal metaplasia are explained. When using a magnifying endoscopy, we always equip an attachment, a cap on the tip of the endoscope. Under magnifying observation, the depth of image field can be narrow, so when the mucosa is observed without the cap, it becomes oblique and only narrow areas are in focus. However, when a cap is used, the mucosa can be straightened towards the lens and the whole endoscopic image field can be focused upon. Moreover, for magnifying observation, good focus can be obtained using a combination of scope movement, gradual adjustment of magnification level by a small lever, and control of air volume. Among them, air volume control is very important. To perform magnifying observation, get close to the object. When too much air is inflated, mucosa is extended and flattens, so it can be slippery and can cause contact bleeding. Put the tip of the cap on the proximal mucosa to the lesion and deflate the air to make the mucosa soften and to get close to the lesion. Next, endoscopic findings of H. pylori negative normal gastric mucosa are explained. In white light image, H. pylori negative mucosa looks homogeneously reddish and gastric folds are well preserved. In AFI, it looks purplish or dark greenish in color. Moreover, when magnifying observation is used, regularly arranged spider like collecting venules can be observed. This finding is seen in more than 90% of H. pylori negative patients. Magnifying NBI image looks like this. In the magnifying NBI image of the corpus mucosa, the round gastric pits can be seen and the light brownish epithelium are surrounded with a network of dark brownish capillaries. This is a magnifying NBI image of H. pylori negative antral mucosa. In the magnifying NBI image of the antral mucosa, the dark brownish subepithelial capillaries are surrounded by light brownish epithelium. This is a summary of magnifying NBI images of the normal gastric mucosa. 
In the corpus, the dark brownish capillaries surround round gastric pits and the light brownish epithelia called foveolar type. Whereas in the antrum, the light brownish epithelia surround the dark brownish capillaries called groove type. These findings correspond with the tubular gland structure of the corpus mucosa and papillary surface structure of the antral mucosa, respectively. Long-standing inflammation associated with H. pylori infection causes atrophy and intestinal metaplasia in the gastric mucosa. In the corpus, H. pylori negative mucosa has gastric folds in the white light image and a purplish color in the AFI image. While in patients with chronic atrophic gastritis, mucosa with atrophy or intestinal metaplasia looks whitish, increases visibility of mucosal vessels and loses gastric folds in the white light image. In the AFI image, the areas with atrophy or intestinal metaplasia look bright greenish. In the magnifying NBI image, mucosa with inflammation have round pits and mucosa with atrophy are less likely to have intestinal metaplasia which have linear gastric pits that are surrounded with brownish capillaries. Gastric corpus mucosa that has atrophy and intestinal metaplasia have a ridge surface structure that is similar to the antral mucosa or have a papillary or villiform surface structure that is similar to intestinal mucosa. Moreover, on the surface of epithelial crests of intestinal metaplasia, blue whitish lines of light can be seen. Called the light blue crest, this is a specific finding for gastric intestinal metaplasia. And this finding has a strong association with the presence of CD10 positive brush border. In summary, foveolar type mucosa in the gastric corpus is less likely to have intestinal metaplasia whereas groove-type mucosa in the corpus is likely to have intestinal metaplasia. The findings of gastric intestinal metaplasia in the antrum are now explained. In H. pylori negative patients, mucosa looks homogeneously reddish and smooth. In NBI image, a regular groove type mucosal pattern can be seen. Whereas in patients with gastric intestinal metaplasia, mucosa has slightly whitish, patchy areas and the surface is uneven. In NBI image, gastric intestinal metaplasia has whitish, patchy areas. In magnifying NBI image, an area with intestinal metaplasia has a whitish papillary or villiform structure with the light blue crest on the surface.
To diagnose gastric intestinal metaplasia efficiently, select patients with H. pylori infection to increase pretest probability. Second, look for areas that are likely to have intestinal metaplasia, such as mucosa with no gastric folds, and increased visibility of mucosal vessel in white light images, greenish corpus mucosa in AFI images, or whitish patches in NBI images. Then, apply magnifying NBI to those areas to find rigid, papillary, or villiform surface structures with the light blue crest sign.